I'm Jane Seward, a literacy consultant with ESDAC. I'm here with Michelle Rivas. Together, we have created a new deck called Shark Snack One. The reason it's called Shark Snack One is because the deck happens to be made up of um, three sound words. So Michelle, if you'd tell them a little bit more about the deck, um, we're actually going to be uh, showing them in another clip, Shark Snack Two, so they'll be able to see the differences there. But what, what's Shark Snack One? How are, the, how are the words chosen? The deck was made with pictures of many CVC words that end in the letter, the sound, yeah, and, and I love the way you did that because mm -hmm. honestly, it's, 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 as teachers, we sometimes want to go to the letter and because we know how to spell all these words. And what we want to remember is for kids, the sound, like the word rock, it has three sounds. The reason I know it has three sounds is because you've put, a, put Elkonin boxes on there, which is the visual representation for the student that the word only has three sounds. And that's going to be in contrast to Shark Snack 2. That deck has um, four and five sound words. And again, that visual representation will be different. So that's really important for students to think about the sounds in the words, not just the letters in the word. In fact, we know that rock, you and I know, that rock is spelled with four letters, yes. but it only has three sounds. sounds. And that's the importance of an Alconan box. That's, that's why they were created and, and how they work for students. Again, I've explained more of that in the task sheet. I've also explained in the task sheet um, the spelling guide that we want students to verbalize, which is if the vowel in the word is a one letter or what you and I would call a short vowel, we're going to spell the k sound with the CK. Again, my explanation in the task sheet says we have a naughty letter K at the end of that word, and naughty K kicks. He kicks lonely little one letter short vowels. So we need a protector letter, which happens to be the letter C. Okay, Naughty K won't kick a two-letter vowel because I say two-letter vowels are mighty. So he's not going to, he's not going to kick uh, a two-letter vowel. That really resonates with students. They, they understand um, how that works when we use that kind of an explanation with them. So let's show everyone how, these work, how this works, okay? Um, you want to go first, or you want me to go first? Yeah. How about I go first, all right? Um, I've, I'm going to put this card between us because we're both looking at that, and we're also going to hold on to our boards, and we're going to spell that word thinking about what we know. And then I say we check, all right? And one of us needs to verbalize. It was my card, so I'll verbalize. We had a two-letter, a mighty two-letter vowel. We only needed the letter K at the right. end of that word. So we both agree with each other, and we need to put that on our accountability sheet in our column of K, all right? Okay, your turn. Okay, what'd you get? I drew the card with the picture of sack. Okay. All right, let's both write. Compare. We agree with each other. You want to verbalize? Because there is a one short vowel. Mm -hmm. And that naughty K. <laughs> yeah. Needs a protector C. That's right. So protector C came in, sat there so naughty K can't kick. And let's get it recorded. It's really important that students see these patterns. Helps with visual memory. My turn. Mm. I chose a picture of the word elk. Elk. Mm. Okay, compare. Okay, we don't agree. So. I'll verbalize what I think I know. Uh, well, you tell me why you spelled it like that. Because there's one short vowel. Right. We talked about that. It has one short vowel. Okay. Well, here's what I remember my teacher telling us. So I want to remind you that we had a one-letter short vowel, but we already had a protector letter. Mm. Okay. Because yes. we had we had to spell the old sound in elk. It's a. Uh, it's eh. Excuse me. Eh. Ol. K. 
We had to put the ul in there, which that becomes the protector letter in a few words like that. Okay. Okay, so naughty case still can't okay. kick. All right, so you can, we'll write that on our, okay. you don't have to write it again on your board, but just write it correctly on your accountability okay. sheet. All right. Would it help if maybe we just did one more? Yes. Um, I think it was your turn. I have the word oak. Okay, and that happens to be one with elk, uh, elk boxes only two have sounds. two sounds. All right, so, but you and I know there's more than two letters in the word, but there's only two sounds, and we both have built the visual memory of the O sound being spelled with the vowel team OA. We had a mighty two-letter yes. vowel. Yeah, so only need the okay. letter K, so let's get that recorded, and... That's all the words I think that we need to do. But we know that we have chosen several more, and by the time we wrote several more cards in our columns, then uh, what I really like about this accountability sheet is one more time, we're going to talk about what do I know about these words? And you and I both, will, even though we may only be first graders doing this, mm -hmm. all right, we're going to actually do our best uh, writing here to say, well, if I have a two-letter vowel, I only need the letter K. Mm -hmm. If I have a lonely little one, letter vowel, a short vowel, I'll spell it with a C K. CK. So we're gonna just ask them to do their to their do their the best job that they can of mm -hmm. writing that because again when I can verbalize what I know, it deepens my knowledge because the goal is not to memorize spellings of words. Right. Again, the goal is can I take this generalization that I know about our language and apply it to a word I don't know? Yes. So that's why it's so important that, that students work together like what we're doing. They verbalize, they talk about the words, and so we're, we're really excited about this deck because we've had a lot of teachers ask us for something like this because kids often just guess all right, on words that they don't already know. So we think this is going to be, a, be an important one for teachers. And with that in mind, you can find these cards at essdk.me slash lit learn.